today I'm going to try one of these trays pupusas. Um, it's a Latin food. It's a chicken and cheese tortilla, basically. Chicken's raised without antibiotics. Delicious stuffed corn tortillas. Um, there's what it says it is. I'll do a focus. Mm. Stuffed corn tortilla with delicious goodness, such as chicken and cheese. And that's what this one is, chicken and cheese. So, not that you care necessarily, but 150 calories each. I'll probably eat two. There's four in the container. We bought these at Kroger. They were um, $5.39 for the package of four. They also got other recipes you can you can try out too. But let me see. the directions for this, I'm, you can do it in the stove top if you want to. I'm gonna do it in the oven. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees, which I have. Spray in each one with a non-stick non cooking spray on both sides. Cook for 10 minutes or until golden brown and crisp. Or the internal temperature, you know I'm not gonna do that. Keep frozen until ready to be cooked. So I've got a piece of parchment, I've got a pan and a piece of parchment paper and uh, some cooking spray. And I'm just hoping the parchment paper keeps it from me having to make a mess in the, in the fry. So, um, okay, so you get two in each package. So that's good. So I'm gonna, and I'm gonna break them apart. They're, right, they're stuck together, but they're very thin. I was expecting to be thicker than that. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna get these out of the package, spray them with cooking spray, put them on my uh, parchment paper, and give them in the oven, and I'll be back. I wanted to show you what they look like um, out of the oven. They're, um, that's what they look like. And if I cut one, but I actually ended up doing them 13 minutes, and they're still not what I'd call crispy on the outside. I mean, they're okay, but that's kind of what they look like on the inside. So anyway, I'm gonna let these cool off for just a minute, and then uh, I'll let you see what they, or I'll let you know what they taste like. All right, let's see what they taste like. Like I said, they're, they didn't get as crispy as I thought they would, and they're very, very thin. I thought they would be um, thicker than they are, but they're very thin. Hmm. The flavor's good. I do wish they were a little crispier. Next time, I'll probably do them in a uh, in the pan. There's a fire truck on that. Don't know if you heard that or not, but there's a power dart. Um, next time I'll probably do it in a skillet, just brown it really good on both sides. I think it was like four minutes per side, but it's good. I wish they were crisper, but the flavors are okay. I mean, there's nothing there really. Um, just really, I mean, you really don't get an overall flavor of, you get chicken, but it doesn't taste like, oh, that's chicken. It's kind of a bland flavor. It reminds you of, um, the tostados, the little round tube looking things that have chicken and cheese in them. It reminds you of that flavor, except they're not crispy because I, I didn't bake them long enough, I guess. But um, they're just kind of bland. Uh, I wish they had more flavor. Maybe I need to put some salsa over them or something like that and they would be better, of course. But um, as they stand plain, um, they're just they're just okay. They're kind of plain. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you get them in your area, you might want to try them out. They're, like I said, they're very plain. They're not going to be very exciting flavors, but if you had something to dip them in or something like that, they'd probably be a lot better. So anyway, catch you next time.